any and all information in this video is to help you understand wireless security and not break into networks. Always scan responsibly, only gather information where it's legal and you have permission. Ever been driving around town, your phone randomly connects to a random Wi-Fi you didn't even know was there? Yeah, that's Wi-Fi broadcasting its presence. And today on Man in the Mayhem, we're gonna dive into war driving, the art of mapping wireless networks using just an Android phone and an app called Wiggle. We'll break down how it works, why people do it, and how it can help protect your own networks from sneaky intruders. Let's get into it. Wall driving is basically cruising around with a device that listens to Wi-Fi signals. We're not connected to anything, just detecting networks, mapping their locations, and seeing what's out there. Think of it like Wi-Fi bird watching, but for cybersecurity nerds. Today we're using my Android phone, using an app called Wiggle Wi-Fi, a super simple setup, no crazy gear needed, and if you can drive, bike, skateboard, or even walk around, you can wall drive. So the quickest and easiest way to start wall driving is by using an Android phone. The reason why this works so well is with an app called Wiggle Wi-Fi. Wiggle Wi-Fi lets you use the hardware that's already pre-built into your phone, including cellular, GPS, and Wi-Fi, to actually start tracking down these different access points. So the first one I'm going to do is grab the actual Wiggle app from the App Store. So I just go into the Play Store, and it is called Wiggle Wi-Fi. I'm not going to reinstall it because I already have it, but I just want to make sure you can see what the logo looks like and see what the your screenshots look like, just so you can know it. You get the exact right app. Once it's downloaded, we can open it up and we can get started. So this is what the interface looks like. In the moment, I've just turned scanning off. A lot of this information here will have to be censored as it is going to be able to dox me if you were to know it. Uh, the first thing we can do here is actually turn our scan on. And as you can see here, this is our network list. It's now picked up GPS. It will show you the speed, altitude, and how many satellites we've got, and how many different access points we've got, how many cellular towers, and how many Bluetooth devices are trying to connect nearby. As well as this particular menu, we can also go to the map. Once again, I am going to have to actually sense this, as I don't want to dock to my current location. What's really cool about the map is as you move around, it will move in real time and show you where each of these networks are. We have a dashboard that tells us how long we've been going for and what we've found. We have the database which we can then actually set things up and send all our information out to the correct places. We can search for different SSIDs. We can get news straight from wiggle.net. And then we have our statistic pages. It's one of my favorite pages is it actually lets you know how much you've done on your account. So making an account with wiggle.net is completely free. You can do it through the phone app or you can do it through their website. And basically it allows you to upload your data up to wiggle.net so you can add to their database. As you can see, today I have discovered 30,000 Wi-Fi access points, 67,000 Bluetooth devices, and 2,346 cellular towers. So once you've got it all installed and set up, hit start scanning, start moving, and your phone will quietly listen to Wi-Fi beacons and log everything it hears. It will log the SSIDs, which is the Wi-Fi names, the device MAC addresses, the encryption type, whether it's WPA2, Open, or WEP, etc., signal strength, and GPS location. And don't worry, Wiggle is completely passive. You're not connected to anything, no packets, no pings. You're just listening like a fly on the wall. You're probably thinking what happens to all the data. After you drive, walk, or scoot around, Wiggle will show you a map filled in with dots. Each one, a Wi-Fi network you discovered. You can upload your findings to wiggle.net to contribute to the global map, or you can just keep it private for your own projects. One really important thing to remember is that Wiggle does not collect passwords or anything sensitive. It's purely mapping public broadcasted data. So why would we even bother doing this? There's lots of reasons. It checks it insecure, rogue Wi-Fi in your neighborhood or workplace. It visualizes Wi-Fi coverage so we can see where hotspots are. We can plan Wi-Fi audits for cybersecurity assessments. We can research how crowded certain Wi-Fi channels are. We can also use this for hobbies and projects like Wi-Fi heat maps and Bluetooth tracking. And it's just fun. Trust me, once you start seeing how dense some areas are with Wi-Fi, you realize just how noisy the air really is. If you update your data to wiggle.net, it becomes a bit of a competition of trying to beat yourself and beat other people in your area. A quick word now about the legalities of this. Listening is legal in most places, but connecting without permission is very illegal. There's a huge difference. Always check your local laws before a big war driving session. It's better to be safe than spending a night explaining yourself to a very confused police officer. So there you have it. War driving with an Android phone and Wiggle 
the simple, effective and honestly pretty eye-opening, you'll never look at free Wi-Fi sign in the same way again. If you learned something new today, smash that like button. If you've ever done some Wi-Fi scanning or found something weird out there, drop me a comment, I'd love to hear your war driving stories. Anyway, that's your lot. I've been running the mayhem. Stay curious, stay safe and happy scanning. Thank you.